I'll start with Tuesday. Just how was it from your perspective? Um, yeah, it was a tough game, to be fair. Like, obviously, we knew that coming into the game. Obviously, playing against a championship side that's got good quality. You know, it was sort of a learning curve for, learning curve for us and an experience. And, yeah, but in, in terms of just playing against them, yeah, it was enjoyable in a way. Yeah, is that the value in it that you can learn from a team that are two divisions higher and see how they go about things? Yeah, definitely. I think, especially from an attacking point of view, you know, the rotations and just trusting each other on the ball and finding spaces and pockets, yeah, it was just sort of good to see. Not a level that's too alien, though, for you, given that you have played at that level before. Was it what you expected? Yeah, definitely. Definitely what we, ex- what we expected. I think um, they're, they're a good side and I think they've been a good side for many years. Obviously, last year they, they showed that with getting as far as they did. I'll go back to Newport, if I can. The manager was saying that really the league is the priority and Newport was such a great result and performance, particularly going forward. Again, your assessments of, of just how that was to be involved. Yeah, it was good. I think, you know, we. I think it's just a good away performance yeah. you know we've come there and we started off well um, you know with intent uh, what we wanted to do for the whole game and yeah but I think getting the first goal when we did I think that helped a lot so we could just push on from then Four goals in any game is a strong feat why do you think it clicked so well from an attacking sense? Uh, I think we're just ruthless I think obviously with uh, Cookie coming back into the mix as well I think just we created more chances and then we, we yeah, we took took more of the chances than we have done in recent games. His goals get the headlines naturally, but the manager has also said he, he brings a lot to the link up play that he's such a focal point. I mean, as a winger who plays off him, what does he bring to that attacking unit? Um, with him it's a different dimension, so it's you know, we don't have to play out all the time. It's you know, if we're struggling a bit and there's a high press, you know, there's the option of knocking into him and he can hold on to it or he can flick it on first time so yeah there's that element to his game as well and as someone who plays out on the wide are you are you looking for him in the box is he a very obvious target to try and cross towards yeah he definitely is and I think we should probably try use that uh, a bit more than we have done in recent weeks but yeah I think he's, he's definitely a threat in the box as he's shown <laughs> how are you finding the role that you've been given whilst playing for Bradford City. I remember when you first joined the football club, you were very clear that you wanted to play higher up the pitch during your time here, and you are doing that. Yeah, I think it's it's, it's been a decent start. I'm enjoying it. Um, definitely relishing playing further forward. And I think just as the games go by, I think I'll get better and I'll come into my own. Does it feel more natural to you, the way that you're playing right now? Yeah, it's definitely more natural. You know, being able to sort of pick and choose in moments whether I come inside and try to get on it there or if I stay wide and try to link up with Brad or get myself 1v1s but yeah like I said I'm, I'm enjoying the start How does it differ from what's been asked of you in, in previous roles you predominantly played on the, the left and sometimes with defensive responsibilities on your shoulders Yeah I think obviously naturally I'm an attacking player so I think just sort of having the freedom to just know most of my responsibilities are on a, an attacking focus so you know like uh, the times when I played wing back or left back you know when you get further up the pitch sort of in the back of my mind it's kind of just like oh you know recovery runs if I lose it here I need to get back into there I need to get in the right position so they don't break and so yeah just playing further forward and not having to really think about that as much definitely helps. And how much of that comes down to the manager as well giving you that that license to play further forward and trusting you with that role? Yeah, I've uh, definitely appreciated it, you know, um, for him sort of just like listening to me and having a conversation with me and then just putting me out there. And I think now it's just up to me to just go and repay that faith. Was it something that you expressed an interest in doing when sitting down with the manager or was it something that the manager had asked of you? How did it come about? Um, well, I think you already knew sort of, I think just the way I, the way you see me play and he's just sort of said to me, obviously, I think you'd probably suit us better playing further forward so it was it was just a much easier conversation from then on forward and it's felt like as the season's progressed with some of the loan additions that have come in as well the emergence of, of Bobby getting more first team minutes there's quite a bit of competition for place in that area of the field as well yeah there definitely is and you know I think 
for any team that's looking to do well. I think you definitely need that competition for places and good competition. So, you know, I think everyone's up for it. Everyone's, yeah, ready to push each other on. Finally from me, can I just ask you how you found your, your time away on international duty? Um, yeah, it was just good to get the recognition, obviously, to be part of the squad and to go away. Um, obviously, didn't play as much as I wanted to, but I think that's just football, really. It's just about just getting on with it, really. Is just, it a learning experience? Is is that how yeah, you view it? Yeah. yeah, definitely a learning experience. I think a lot of things in football are learning experiences. So, yeah, just sort of just crack on and... Yeah, look for better next time and do better. Thank you. Cheers. All right. We're starting the clock, obviously, about the international. Uh, as going on as a sub and being subbed, is, is that quite an unusual situation? I mean, how, how did you sort of get your head around that a little bit? Uh, I think in the moment it's obviously a bit of a nuts feeling, you know, to come on and then to get dragged after 20. Uh, I think you sort of just got to um, laugh to yourself in the moment, really, and then just, you know, just park it up and move on from there really. Well, no, I obviously can't say much about what the manager was saying but obviously he, he spoke out about it. I mean what what's sort of being said and everything did you sort of take that and sort of look back on it now and think yeah I can, I can learn from that and as you say you know perhaps sort of use it to my advantage. Yeah there are yeah. definitely bits I can take from it and, and definitely be like yeah I can uh, take that on the chin and understand where he's coming from and yeah move on from it. I mean getting called up in the first place you know it's been a while since your last call up did that come as a bit of a surprise? Um, I wouldn't say uh, like a surprise because I felt like you know when the call up came up I've you know been playing more games and I've been playing pretty well so I think it was just it was just nice to get that recognition and just to to be to be involved and you know go experience going away with the lads. And obviously the fact that they're starting a qualifying campaign in what, about months month or so of time two months time is that something you you're hopeful to be be involved in and part of. Yeah, definitely. I think it'll be something that I'm looking forward to if I am involved. You know, it's a it's a great opportunity. You know, um, games that really mean something going forward. Yeah. And w when you're away like that, you know, in a different group, sort of training and, and you know, playing with those, is it sort of does it you have to sort of play differently at all yourself? I mean, or does it sort of feel like you're just out there with with Bradford? Um, I think initially at the start, it's obviously can be a bit. Bit different and daunting because obviously some of the lads have played together before and they've got a good relationships. So I think the first couple of days it's a bit tricky, but after that, yeah, when you're on the pitch, it's just kind of just yeah, feels natural again and just yeah, get get on with it and you're playing. That's it. And, and, and judging by the reaction of the games, obviously there's a there's a lot of interest in you know you know playing competitive football again. Isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think everyone's looking forward to it, and you know the last international break with uh, one win one loss so I think it's just about building momentum and yeah just carrying on from there you're in a group with some big hitters in there aren't they you know it's a, it's a, it's a, it looks a tough group to get out of put it that way yeah it's a, it's a tough group but I think that's a challenge that everyone relishes I think you know whenever you're playing football you want to play against you know the better teams I think that's where you know you find out a lot about yourself and just how how much you've improved in the time Obviously, you were saying earlier about you know you, you sort of see yourself as an attack-minded player, which you sort of said since you arrived here, and, you, and you've got a manager here who clearly believes that. Now, I mean, is that sort of the the feeling across the board now? Do you sort of think you present yourself to everyone as I'm an attacking, forward-thinking player rather than a defender now? Yeah, I think that's just. I think it's always been the case. I've always been an attacking player. I just think in in, in moments, I've been used uh, in a defensive role because at the time that's what suited the club and the team and you know every now and again you need to do that like I'm, I'm happy to help out when needs be for the team but I think where people get the best out of me and where I think I'm better is further forward you know and I'm, and I'm open to prove that and show that this year with with um, coming games it must be nice you yeah, haven't got to sort of keep going to the manager sort of knocking on his door so any chance of going Bit further up upfield, but he, he sort of he now sees you in those plans as that you know forward thinking player. Yeah, I think that's the that's the main thing as well, especially that the gaffer sees me as an attacking player, and he's like I said before, he's given me the opportunity, and he's put his faith in me to to just go out there and do what I like to do and enjoy myself on on the pitch.